you often see warnings about building your own tree stands out of wood. And that's simply because you can get some decay and they can be unsafe. Uh, however, I've hunted out of, uh, I know one for years that has been there and it's actually time to replace it. And because it's been there for so long, I've kind of looked at what, what the problems are and why it's decaying, what the, what the safety issues are. Um, you know, of course you can go find a cheap stand uh, and like the one that I've got in my own yard is a cheap one that was, I think I got it on sale for $45, it's the one that I practice bow hunting from. Uh, but the, the good thing about doing this is it, it will cost you a little bit more than, you know, one of those cheaper stands, but when you're done you'll, be, you'll have a good height, you'll have a safe, uh, you have a safe tree stand that lasts you for a long time. Um, and uh, maintenance on it will be minimal and you'll have a larger space to sit on on top and of course I use like a lawn chair or, uh, or a patio chair up top it makes it a little bit more comfortable secure it to the tree but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build one out of this these two by six material the pressure treated uh, with some simple tools uh, circular saw drill got some clamps to hold a few things together exterior grade screws and some galvanized through bolts. Um, so let me show you what we're doing here. The first thing I'm going to do is mark out notches for the rungs. I'm actually going to put two by four rungs inside these two by sixes and they're going to sit inside there so that they're not going to be screwed to it or nailed to it. They're actually going to be sitting inside of it so that it doesn't slip away or can't pull away and and if something does kind of get loose you can address it. Uh, it'll have uh, and so each one of these this is the bottom and this would be the top and then they're kind of offset so that I can cut them both at the same time. So I'm doing 15 inch spacing from one rung to the next. A normal ladder has about 12 but 15 is fine for the woods. So I'm going to measure them out, mark them and then I'm going to cut them. Here I'm marking the top and the bottom of where these 2x4 rungs will be sitting inside the plywood. I just adjust the depth of the saw blade cut so that when I cut through and mark the top and the bottom, they're going to be just about the same thickness as a 2x4. Once you cut the top and the bottom, you make a whole bunch of small cuts in between uh, the top and the bottom lines. And what it does is it allows you to break away that material without having to use the chisel that long to clean them out. So you can see I kind of go diagonal on a couple of them. Then once you do that, you take a hammer and you just bang all those little pieces out. And uh, it'll give you a, uh, a good clean cut all the way through. And you'll see that I use a 5-in-1 tool to go ahead and chisel out the bottom portions of it. Uh, but it lets those 2x4s fit in there uh, pretty good, um, and it's a faster way to do it. Pull down and actually put together from top to bottom, you can see how this thing works. So these notches... And once I clean it out, you can see that I'll take the saw and I kind of go back and forth. And it's, since the saw blade is already cut at a certain, or set at a, set, a certain depth, it cleans it out and it gives it somewhat of a flat surface. And here you see I've already cut all of them. Um, and I do them all at once. There's the two by fours kind of sitting in there, uh, but it allows uh, allows you to cut all of them at one time um, and uh, speaks things up. Bolt here underneath the splice, and then a bolt here, and then of course we'll have more along this on the side on the bottom. But the good thing is, is this: if this rots or if anything uh, decays on the bottom from it sitting down, we'll be able to replace these outside sections. And really you could replace, you know, pieces at a time, but uh, it, this should last for a long time. I mean, if we're concerned about wood being outside, I mean, if you've got a deck that's outside, your stringers are usually doubled, they're notched out, and this is going to have way more support than a typical stringer would in a house.
I'm doing now is I'm attaching an extension on top of what's going to be the ladder. And it's really for a handhold so that when you're getting up onto the platform, which is going to be about this high, you have got a little extra to hold on to as you're pulling yourself over. That's usually one of the problems I find with uh, some of these ones where there's just a platform on top of a ladder is that you're really kind of belly crawling up onto this flat surface. And I want to give us a little extra handhold as we're getting up on there. Um, it's attached with, uh, with also with these galvanized through bolts. And I've actually got a 5 8 inch through bolt that's galvanized that's going to attach to what's going to be the platform. Um, but it'll secure this handrail on and it'll also be secured to the ladder down here. So I'll go ahead and attach the other one. starting to take shape and you're looking down what you would be climbing down uh, or up if you're going up a tree uh, the ladder assembly and then we're looking from the top but what I'm going to show you is it's it's not completely bolted together because right now it's just temporarily uh, bolted and they're not really tightened just to hold it together just for me to be able to test it out but you know, you're looking at this whole this whole run and you know we've got double-sided um, two by sixes that are the main structure of this thing and then we've got these inlet or these notched out two by fours that are the actual ladder rungs that are 15 inches apart but up toward the top if you can kind of take a look here this section right here and uh, you can see that it is bolted with 5 8 inch galvanized bolts this is going to be the support for what is going to be the platform and I haven't built a platform yet because I'm going to temporarily build it uh, so that I can modify it out when we get near the tree because we might need some modification but this thing is going to be uh, adjustable based on the true tree uh, dimensions once we get out there but uh, for right now the whole most of this thing is assembled now it's heavy uh, so it will take a little bit of work getting it up there so it'll be inched up while I'm on the ladder but it is not going to go anywhere once it's up there. So, but for right now, uh, I'm going to disassemble it into two pieces, and we'll reassemble it when we're actually out in the field. So it's the next day, and I've got the tree stand over there in the truck, but this is the one that we're going to be replacing. You see, it's it's up there. It's. It's an old stand, and it just has one bias that are just fastened to the front of these, really these two by fours, and they go all the way up there, 16 footers. They go all the way up to a, pl a platform that's up there, and you can see the lawn chair up there also. So uh, I'm getting ready to disassemble it. So this is the old stand, and uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna remove the chair that's sitting up on top of the old platform. And it, it was actually pretty rotten. Once I pulled the, all that stuff off, there were there were ants and all sorts of stuff that were kind of buried underneath some of the uh, plywood that's up there. And uh, so I once I disassembled it, got it down, uh, I started actually reassembling the the ladder section of the tree stand. And you can see that I'm laying out these. Um, three eighths inch bolts uh, on all the pre-drilled holes and I'm going to go ahead and assemble the whole thing. I will say that this sucker is pretty heavy. Uh, I almost really needs to be a multiple guy uh, or multiple person um, hoist. Uh, I managed to do it by myself. Uh, it was uh, pretty labor-intensive. Um, 
I would say it weighs at least 200 pounds, uh, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, but I just inched, inched it all the way up the tree. Um, slowly, you see I'm actually using the 2x4 that I had with me to, to be able to pick it up. But uh, there I'm actually pre-drilling some holes in uh, what's going to be the platform support that actually screws the tree. And, and there's the long 10-inch uh, self-tapping bolts that are going to go into the side of the tree. So once I had it pretty, uh, pretty close to the tree, I could push it out. And, and then drive those screws pretty far into the tree. It makes it pretty stable. At this point, it was so difficult to put those self-tapping screws in the other side of the tree. I actually pre-drilled a hole in the tree so that it would be a little bit easier, and it helped. Um, there'll be a little bit of adjustment later on where uh, that I'm going to need to go back and do just because I couldn't get it all the way set in the tree, but it was good enough to go ahead and get the platform put on there. So here's a stand. This is a supporting member that in. goes diagonal um, from the ladder to it's the underside pretty heavy. of the platform so support. If you saw me build it, it's pretty stout. So I'm actually standing up on the top of the ladder rung right now. Here you can see but the brackets that I've, uh, I've got. got a lawn I'm fastening here the and it's tied up so that it won't move platform against the tree. Joist with nice little surface, galvanized nails that uh, to sit on um, here, are so we're manufactured for that purpose. It, it holds it on there pretty good and it gives me a chair height. It's going to be about surface that's not going to rust. And there's the. Here are joists that are nailed the up there. I uh, actually did, did not get to record me putting it's the platform a, on, uh, which is just uh, cutting them to length and then screwing them down. It's up here, but, so it's uh, plenty of room is, to be able to uh, stick a bag or whatever the, you need underneath. Um, the chair to the tree with the rope. Getting into it. Like I said, when they're small and you got a belly crawl up over the top of the ladder onto the platform, it's difficult, but I'm doing it one handed. I got my, my camera in one hand, but one handed, nice and pretty safe uh, another thing that I noticed kind of a kind of nice little part is that I can put my feet up on the top of the ladder so it uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a comfortable chair but you can look I'm a good ways up here there's a ladder so I'll put together some plans for this um, so that you can kind of see what it is this thing is not going to work perfect for every single person. I still have a couple little edits that I need to do with it to make it fasten to the tree a little bit better. Um, and because every tree is going to be different, the way that it leans, the way that it's, uh, the way that it shapes the trunk, they're just not going to be a perfect solution for everything. So you have to adjust out in the field. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the, but again, you know, so the plans. You can download them for free, make your own, modify it, uh, make your own decisions based on your own safety. Uh, a lot of people fall out of these tree stands. I'll actually, I have a little harness that I, that I wear when I'm up here. Uh, I don't have it on right now, but uh, I'm also not in a position where I could fall asleep. Um, or it's not hunting season, so I can't get all excited when a buck's back over in the corner over here. So, um, let me know what you think of it. I'll give you a couple of shots of it uh, at the end of this video. And uh, happy hunting.